NBC Sports presents the third AFL-NFL World Championship game, the Super Bowl. The American Football League champions, the New York Jets, versus the National Football League champions, the Baltimore Colts. From the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, brought to you by Chrysler Corporation. Your host for today's game, Chrysler, Plymouth, and Dodge. By Big Tip Pell-Mell Gold, you make God better at both ends. By Schlitz, when you're out of Schlitz, you're out of beer. By the new adjustable Gillette Tecmanic Razor. And by Trans World Airlines, the all-jet airlines, up, up and away, PWA. The city of Miami hosts for this Super Bowl game, and a wonderful host it's been. The temperature right now is 72 degrees. The wind is going to be a factor here. It's gusty now, 15 miles an hour, and we have a 20% chance of rain. It rained last night hard for several hours. The field was covered, though, and appears to be in very good shape. And they could have sold 150,000 tickets for this game. Tickets have never been more scarce than they were here in Miami for the third Super Bowl game. I'm Kurt Gowdy. I'm going to call the play-by-play -play for you. Analyzing the game will be Kyle Rote and Aldi Rogatis. They were both National Football League stars, and also they followed the AFL this season on television and NBC, so they know both leagues very well. Also, Jim Simpson is going to be with us, and he'll be roaming the field for some interesting interviews. Well, you've all read and heard all kinds of pregame dope during the week. I think one big sidelight has been Joe Namath. Joe Namath, of course, is the man that the Colts have to stop. If Namath has a good day, the Jets are usually good. If he doesn't, they have trouble. But Namath has not been bashful this week. He's come down here to, uh, to uh, Miami, and he has said that the Jets are going to win. He doesn't even predict it. He says, I guarantee a Jet victory. He has downgraded the opponent, the quarterback, Earl Morrow. And this is supposed to now give Baltimore even more of an incentive and they say that it has added maybe a two-touchdown edge to the Colts. We'll see how it all comes out. Joe Namath has been on a spot, but he's even more on a spot now.